Seven's coverage of horse racing is... Now Cylinders coming off hills, getting to the outside. Bases loaded, being tackled by Militarised. And Militarised storms to the front from Bases loaded. Don Corleone's running on, and further back to peer pressure. But Militarised is on, firing right up here on the English side. Draws away for an emphatic victory. Major Bill leads at the 300 metres from Andalus and Virtuous Circle, charming in. Clear from Stroke of Luck. Sharp and Smart still three lengths away. Major Bill in front of Virtuous Circle. Virtuous Circle moving up to Major Major Bill, Major Bill still kicking from Virtuous Circle. Major Bill lifting in the derby and Major Bill, too good, beat Virtuous Circle. Nature Strip rolls up the rise, three lengths clear from Mazu, passive aggressive. Giga kick five lengths away. Nature Strip, the world champion sprinter trying to fend them off. Mazu's the first to challenge. Nature Strip, Mazu, Giga kick lengthening. And I wish I win down the outside. I wish I win, went past Giga kick, Mazu. I wish I win from last. A spectacular TJ win. Coming down the outside is Nugget with a great runner. Zoo got you in front from Nugget the outside, and Mr. Brightside is really starting to lengthen now. Mr. Brightside moved up to join Nugget. Then came Osipenko, Mustang Valley, and my Obron bursting through. Mr. Brightside in front from my Obron. Mr. Brightside lifting and goes back to back. Open up my head. just puts a smile on your yeah, face just some of the highlights from the championships and uh, the emergence of mr brightside at going to that next level and he goes back to back in the doncaster and these star sprinters i wish i win and giga pick kick giga kick they are the surprise packets for me but You've got a beauty here, one that I did not envisage at all. It's an under-the-radar one because Chris Waller, master trainer, and all the success he's had throughout his career, he hasn't typically been known as a two-year-old trainer. He's won a couple of JJs up in Queensland, but it was his dominance this two-year-old season that really impressed me. So Shinzo winning the golden slipper at Rose Hill Gardens under the urgings of Ryan Moore, and then the emergence of militarise in both the sires and the champagne was just absolutely incredible, of course. This son of Dundeal absolutely relished the wet ground and we're looking forward to seeing what he will do for Newgate Farm and the China Horse Club throughout his three-year-old year. So for Chris Waller, he trained 12 Group 1 winners, but only one horse had two, and that was militarised. All the rest were individuals. So once he had trained 18 Group 1 winners, but he had winks there. So an incredible season. We're going to see some new partnerships emerge. And the Hayes family's now got a little bigger in their partnership. We first caught up with a young Will Hayes a long time ago. What sort of horseman would you like to be? Oh, any type, probably. Probably a trainer. You'd like to be a trainer? Yeah. Like Dad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like Dad, and look at him. And that's the beauty of Seven Horse Racing, our heritage that we've got all these great stories from so many years ago to be able to showcase to you. That's absolutely brilliant, the voice of Neil Kearney, who we absolutely love. So that isn't brilliant. So Will Hayes joins Ben and JD. That's the new partnership, Ben, JD and Will Hayes. The concern for you and I, Speedy... The race book? No. Oh, because <laughs> I think they should just be known as the Hayes brothers. The concern for me is that Will and JD are twins. Oh, it's very difficult. And they're going to gonna walk towards us after a group one and you and I are going to look and go... Which one is it? <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the worry. So can one of them shave their heads or something? We need a little defining uh, yeah. thing. We're not going to have a concern with Peter Moody's new training No, partner, and Catherine Coleman, of course, who has been assistant trainer to Peter Moody for the last three years and she will officially join him in partnership in the new season. Uh, as I said, she has been working for Moods for quite a time. And uh, good news, our team is out on the road and they will be shooting a story on Catherine this week. So next week we can learn a little bit more about her. WA girl who we've uh, had a bit of a joke. I said former uh, runner-up Miss Bunbury. That's where she's from, Bunbury in WA. She's that beautiful. She could have been. Um, Leon McDonald, today is the last day of his incredible training career that's been honoured by Australian Racing's Hall of Fame. Um, we never forget... That moment when uh, Rebel Raider defeated Hubie Got You and Claire Lindop was able to win. And also, John Singleton's announced that he is going to be selling up uh, Strawberry Hill. I mean, of course, he, 
He raced Strawberry Road after he raced Veloso and was sick of Veloso getting beaten by Strawberry Road. Uh, he has more joyous, and we remember those that uh, famous relationship with Gay Waterhouse. He'll continue to race horses, but he will be selling all of his farms. So he's had some incredible horses over the years, uh, and there's some wonderful broodmares that are going to be up for sale. So more joyous, who's an eight-time Group One winner, and she's currently in foal to I'm Invincible. Also, Samantha Miss, who was the champion three-year-old filly of her year, Miss Fabulous, uh, Dear Demi, who won at VRC Oaks, and Mokalua, who is in foal to Frankel as well. So. You know, Singo wants to be involved in the game, but as he gets a little bit older, it's just too much to handle. Why yep. not sell up and uh, find these amazing mares new homes?